So today we're making a concrete, we're attempting to make a concrete uh, flower pot. Uh, the reason that I'm making it instead of just buying it is because I went online and saw that they were around 350, 400 bucks for the size pot that I wanted, which was like almost two feet uh, in diameter. So I did a bit of research and I found out some ways to just do it yourself. So uh, I'm gonna walk you through my process and hopefully it turns out well. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so some material. We have painter sticks to stir the concrete, PVC pipe that will cut down, uh, for the drainage for the bottom of the planter, our concrete, quick crete, uh, high strength, some quick crete cement color, charcoal that I'll add at the bottom for a bit of a gradient uh, to go from darker to light. Our mixing tray, I went for the smaller mixing tray because I felt like the bigger one was a little unnecessary for the size of con the amount of concrete. Some glue to uh, glue the PVC pipe down into the base of the uh, two different tubs. Circular saw for cutting our PVC pipe. Some deck screws to hold it in place. And of course, our two pots. So I started by cutting the PVC pipe down for the drainage. I took the larger tub and drew an outline around the PVC as a guide to make a cut to fit the PVC pipe drainage through. And the same for the smaller pot. And then I took a jigsaw and I cut the circular hole out of the middle. The same for the larger pot. And then I took my glue and I glued the PVC pipe to the base of the larger pot. Next, I made sure that the smaller pot fit over the PVC pipe inside of the bigger pot. And I screwed the deck screws into the side of the larger pot so that way I could hold the smaller pot in place to create my mold. I secured the screws into the smaller pot and there was just enough space to pour the concrete in between. I taped up the base of the larger pot to make sure that none of the concrete spilled out of the bottom. Don't forget your safety mask because this concrete is not good to breathe in. After you pour your concrete, you add the water until you can create the perfect consistency for pouring the concrete. Everybody says you want to get it the consistency of oatmeal, thick oatmeal. Next, I added in my concrete dye, my color, my charcoal color, and just mix it into the concrete mix. I started pouring the concrete into the mold down the sides. And as you can see, a problem starts to form in that my inner mold is being pushed up by the concrete that's going underneath it. It's forcing the small, the screws aren't holding it in place. So the smaller tub is actually being pushed up. So I added some deck screws into the base of the smaller pot. So that way it would hopefully secure to the larger pot from the bottom. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you don't add too much water at the end because you can't dilute it with your concrete mix. So here you can see the concrete is pushing up the bottom, but the PVC pipe is still in place. Fortunately, I had some bricks lying around to, to add some weight to push it down. So I put as many bricks as I could stack in to just give it a little bit of weight to force the 
inner bowl down in the concrete. In order to avoid bubbles in your concrete, you're gonna wanna use an orbital sander to get the bubbles out. That's the most effective way. If you don't have an orbital sander, you can use a mallet or a hammer of some sort to try and pop those bubbles. And this is something that I completely forgot. I was putting away my tools and realized I hadn't used the painter stick. And so I went back and I pushed the concrete down. I should have done this before the orbital sander. So I pushed all the concrete down and then I went back through and I hit it with the orbital sander. So now after you've let your concrete sit for a few days, I let mine sit for three days. I took the screws out. And this was the hardest part, was getting the outer, uh, was getting the, the plastic planters off of the concrete. I'm sure there's smarter ways to do this, but I just decided to use a box cutter and some pliers and gloves, and I just started ripping it off. And when I took it off, the top was still a little bit rough. So I decided that I wanted to sand it down a little bit. So I took 60 grit sandpaper and I went around the top of the bowl just to get rid of some of those concrete rough edges. That's Chewbacca. Now the concrete had actually formed over my drainage pipe. So I tried to drill it with a hole, but I found it was easier to just use a chisel and a mallet to open it back up kind of like you would a sculpture, uh, just kind of tapping away at it. <laughs> 